right, this is a video um, on finding the area of a triangle using the determinants. Let's go back to our first page here. So what we're going to be looking at today is our objective is to find the determinant of a 2 by 2, review that, and use that determinant to find the area of a triangle so that we can then test collinear points. So recall a 2 by 2, um, you take the product of the diagonals and you subtract those products and that finds the determinant. Remember the determinant helped us determine whether or not we had a matrix had an inverse. Then from there we go on to a 3 by 3 and a 3 by 3. Um, we had a first step and that first step was is to take the first two columns and move them outside. You had to repeat the first two columns and then find the product of the six different diagonals. And as you can see we would add the diagonals um, that, that fell and then or the products of the diagonals that fell and we would then add the products of the diagonals that rose and then we subtracted those two different sums. Well now our situation is that we have a, a triangle and we're going to see that by using the determinant um, formula or algorithm we can actually find the area of a triangle or, or a polygon for that sake. The key thing is here is that our a, to find the determinant of a matrix the matrix must be square. So when we see this set up, you'll see that that's why these ones come into play here. So that's a very important concept to think about is, you know, why are these ones right here? And when will I need the ones? And what are the ones, what's the role of the ones that we have in the problem? Okay, so as we start setting this up, um, what we have to can realize is that we have three different ordered pairs. And so we need to assign the different ordered pairs to different values of X and Y. So just for the sake of discussion purposes, I want to remind you that, you know, in this case here, we could call this the point 0.48 or the ver vertex 4.8 x1, y1. We could call vertex um, negative 7, 4. We could call it x2, y2. And last but not least, we could call the vertex at negative 1, negative 2, we could call that x3, y3. Okay, So when we start putting this into our formula, we have our determinant bar. Out in front, we have 1 half. So I want you to think about this. If we're finding the area of a triangle, what does the 1 half have to do with the whole situation? And that's right. If you said to yourself, oh, well, the area of the triangle is equal to 1 half base times height, then that's where the one half comes from. We'll talk about the positive and negative in just a minute. I don't want to overwhelm the situation. So here we go. We put our order pairs and we have four, eight, and our place holding one. Remember, because one is the identity element of multiplication. So therefore, if we multiply by one, it does not change the value. We have x2, y2, negative seven, four, and a place holding one to make our matrix square. And last but not least, we have negative 1, negative 2, and a place holding 1. So now we have our numbers placed into our, our algorithm for the, the determinant so we can find the area. Let's discuss why positive or negative. The reason is the area of a triangle must always be positive. So what we're really here is what's really going on here is that they're giving us an option. They're saying when you come out of this situation, when you come out of the algorithm, you're either going to have a positive answer or a negative answer, and you always want it to be positive. So we're going to use whatever sign we need. We don't have to use both. We just use the one that we need because the area of a triangle is always positive. All right, let's bring the calculator up and get things going inside of it. All right, so here we are. We got our graphing calculator. Let's go to Home. And from the Home tab, we're going to go to A. We're going to go to Calculate page. All right, um, we have right here, we have to do one half. So we do one fraction two. And we want to find the determinant of a matrix. So we're going to go menu, action, oh, excuse me, escape, menu, number seven. And number three is determinant. So that'll pull the DET out in front there. And now we put, need to put our matrix in. So we go back to menu back to number seven, to number one, create, and number one, a matrix. We have to tell it that we want a four by four. 
and we put our numbers in. Oh, I said four by four. It's supposed to be three by three. I'm gonna push pause and I'll change that. All right, I'm back and I changed my into a three by three, following the same procedure. And let's go ahead and put our numbers in. So I'll kind of start off with the end and press pause again. So I have four, tab, eight, tab, one, my placeholder, tab, negative seven, tab, four, tab, one, tab negative one, tab, negative two, tab, and one. All right, so now I have the algorithm placed in the calculator all at one time. I have one half of the determinant of the matrix. So when I press enter, I find out that the area of this triangle is equal to 45. So essentially what I've just done is I've allowed myself to calculate, to use the technology to solve the problem. So we find out that the area of this triangle is equal to 45. We don't have any units, we just have numbers. So, and we can verify that if we want to go through and look at the base and the height and such. If we have a, if we have the, the right type of triangle here, or we could you know find the distance of the base and and find the height and so forth. All right. So using the, this is a video on using the TI Inspire to find the area of a triangle using the formula for determinant.